Right, so let's talk about net zero. It's a target, it's high on Boris Johnson's agenda, ahead of COP26. So how can we achieve this? Um, is hydrogen the answer and is it affordable? Hydrogen is an energy storage medium similar to a battery, but unlike batteries, which eventually lose their ability to hold a charge, hydrogen gas can be stored indefinitely. Perhaps the best argument in hydrogen's favour is that when it's burned for heat or passed through a fuel cell to make electricity, the only byproduct is chemically pure water. When integrated with renewable energies like solar and wind power, hydrogen can offer a superior energy storage alternative to batteries with the added benefit of chemically pure water and oxygen as the only byproducts. So I'm joined by the founder of Hydrogen House Project, Mike Straczynski. Straczynski. Straz Sorry, Mike. <laughs> I, it was going so well up to that point. Mike, tell me, how do you say your last name? Stritsky. Stritsky. Oh, it sounds so simple when you say it. <laughs> Mike, now listen, that wonderful rundown of hydrogen, it sounds so perfect. The only byproduct is water and, and all. But, but there's got to be a kickback, right? What, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it is that it's actually a cure for the disease, not a treatment. And it's holistic. 80% of all matter is hydrogen. So we can get hydrogen from almost anything. So it's the most available uh, fuel source uh, in the world, in the universe. Um, so basically it involves a, a very dramatic change from where we are, but it's the only thing that can turn the ship around in a very short period of time and solve the greenhouse gases. Um, I've been off grid here now for 18 years using this technology and perfecting it. Um, it's now at the point where it's close to commercially uh, viable for homeowners, um, you know, obviously the higher end ones right now, but it will come down just like big screen TVs or the original laptop computers. Uh, we're at the point now where major companies are integrating this technology and new advances are occurring every day. So you, you, we're you, at the point where, you where things are changing dramatically. Now, you mentioned turning the ship around, and the first thing in my head was the Hindenburg. And I suddenly thought to myself that that wasn't powered by hydrogen. It had some hydrogen in it to allow it to be more buoyant. It was powered by diesel. But that ship, then, one little spark, sent that whole thing in flames. So in my head, when I hear hydrogen, that image of that ship comes to mind. I remember watching the film about it and thinking, my goodness, that doesn't look like a good idea. So what is the problem with yeah. hydrogen in that respect? So hydrogen, as far as safety, is safer than anything we know. If there's a leak with hydrogen, it's 45 miles an hour into the atmosphere, um, you know, where it combines with water, comes down as rain. Hydrogen will never come down. It will always go up. And it diffuses so rapidly in air that it gets to a non-flammable state faster than any other uh, energy source. It's also number one on the periodic table, which means it's lighter than helium, which is why they used it in the Hindenburg. The Hindenburg skin of the airship is what people saw burning as the event took place. Hydrogen went up in a tenth of a second, and what didn't burn was diffused. And when you burn hydrogen, you get water. Right. So the, the biggest problem what people saw in the event was the diesel tanks and the skin of the airship, not the hydrogen. It just got a bad rap. Oh, and wow. this has been proven many times, uh, you know, through science audits uh, on the Hindenburg on what actually caused the accident. So okay. hydrogen, the, the jury is basically, you know, said the verdict, hydrogen is safe. Uh, I've been using it with students here at the hydrogen house for the last 18 years and never came close to any kind of event. As long as it's handled properly, it's safer than anything we know. There are 9,000 hydrogen cars running around California. There are refueling stations in the midi, middle of Los Angeles and, uh, you know, major cities throughout California in highly populated areas. You know, wow. so they're using it in the ports of Long Beach, Santa Monica, uh, and L.A.